All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And um, just from a video I came across a little earlier. And this is from the Lisa Haven. And uh, this is a coverage of this digital, digital, well, what is titled here, Digital Antichrist Government is new, excuse me, is now formed and Biden just issued executive order to help it rise. All right. So we told you, you know, and uh, that's not a brag or boast thing, but, you know, we told you. All right, the true men of the Lord, okay, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, start with my apostles here at Great Millstone, the men on down, have been telling you that when it comes to the prophecy of the MOTB, all right, which is written in Revelations 13, 16, as is written, uh, he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. All right, we told you that that prophecy deals with, all right, when you go into the word mark, it deals with the Greek word karagma. All right, which the karagma, when you look it up, it's an embrand, a brand mark, all right, something incision okay underneath the skin and when you go into the root word of karagma the greek word there is karax all right so there's really no way around it even while reading the scripture as well and you go down to 603 score and six that goes into the chi phi stigma and then when you go into the word stigma it means to prick all right so really there's no way around it and we've been telling you that that, that that device links to what? It identifies the, the microchip. And we told you, year after year, all right? Like I said, starting with my apostles here at Great Millstone, you know, and the brothers on down, have been prophesizing you to this, this truth, which we have been given it by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So in this video, I've seen a little bit of it. You know, he's going into it and how Biden just signed the executive orders to help it rise because they want to bring us into this future where technology is inside of our bodies and they can monitor us, you know, like cattle, you know, as if we're actually animals, you know, to them, you know. So it's dealing with the fourth industrial revolution, all right, which is man merger with machine, artificial intelligence, algorithm, okay? And this is what been going, they've been talking about for many years now, and now it's coming into flourishing. All right, so without further ado, I'll play a little bit of the video, and I basically just quoted the scripture for you, you know? Revelations 13, 16, that's what it leads into, that prophecy. All right, so let's just see what he's got to say. Let me wind it back a little bit. Get away from the advertisement. I just want the news, that's all. So here we go. Corrupting almost every industry in every country. Transformation of entire systems of production, management, and most importantly, in their eyes, governance. The possibility of billions of people connected by mobile devices, isn't it wonderful? The internet of things, robotics taking control. Billions of people connected to devices because that's the way the elites, all right? They wanna control the people, all right? So that goes right along with Bible prophecy, which leads me to a scripture that comes to mind and I wanna get it. This is, um. Let me go to the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2 and 4. 
it says, who opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshiped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right. So who is who is the who is he, right, that opposeth and exhorteth himself above all that is called God? That's Esau Edom. All right, starting with the elites, the international bankers, the house of Esau. This is their way of exhorting themselves above all that is called God. All right. And you can check out your man, Yuval Noah Harari, you know. He speak greatly and highly of the elites having power over the most high. Okay. It says, or that is worship. Because you're no longer going to worship according to their words. You're going to worship a God over the clouds. You're going to worship the gods before you, you know, that's men, you know, that you can see according to his words. Yuval Noah Harari. It says, or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Now, who's the temple of God? The Israelites, their bodies. All right. They want to get inside the temple of the Most High. They want to be as though they is the Most High. Alright, this is why we constantly, you know, beat the drum, okay, and sound the alarm with the sound, with the same trumpet. We blow the trumpet over and over, man. You know, because someone, you might listen to these videos and say, man, I know that already. But this is the reason why the Lord keeps it repetitive. We keep speaking this word. We keep speaking of this prophecy because this is a, a warning. Okay. This is why we told you that it's, it's, it's uh, deeper than money. It's all about power and control. It's about Esau striving to upset Jacob's prophecy. All right. Because they want to sit in the temple of the Most High. They want to get inside your body. It says showing himself that he is God. Because if he can control and he can modify your DNA and put technology in you, turn you into a transhuman, he can be a God over you. He would know where you at at all times. You know, he can cut your light switch off, you know, if he wanted to. He can cut you off from society. All right. Any transaction that you may do with another person, he'll know about it. You know, he, he understands your emotions. He will see it. He'll know even what you're thinking, you know, and it's not far fetched. You know, this is not some sci fi shit. All right. When you look into their videos and dig into what the fourth industrial revolution is all about and these mad scientists, these mad men. All right. And these women as well. And their mindset. They want to be able to read your mind. And they said they have the ability to do that. But they need also support because they need you to be plugged up to the Internet of Things. And then they're able to read your mind, man. All right. So let me get another scripture real quick. I'm going to let the video play. I just want to get out a few scriptures that I can. Whatever the Lord put in me to, to bring out. Okay. This is Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken nations? Now, Lucifer is referring to the house of Esau. All right. The word Lucifer just means light bearer. Okay. So it's not talking about demon spiritual Satan. All right. Or, or we just say the tempter or, you know, the, the prince. You know, the angel that's on the left hand side of darkness that the Most High set up. We're not talking. It's not talking about him. It's talking about a man. Men. OK. It says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? The enlightened ones, the Illuminati. How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken nations? Because Lucifer is going to be cut down. These elites are going to be cut down. OK. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregations 
and the size of the north. Excuse me, and the size of the north. Okay, because his mind is to exalt himself above the clouds. Okay, that's Esau' um, pride is to exalt himself above the Most High, man. Okay, it says, "I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High." It's not Esau playing God. All right, with them get digging into the body, modifying the body. All right. Uh, digging into your DNA, using technology, artificial intelligence, you know, to read your mind. It's not they playing God. Come on now. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. All right. It says, yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. So the scriptures speak otherwise. You know, it speaks differently than the future that Esau is putting out here. The scriptures go against this devil's NWO, okay? It says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? And that's Esau, okay? So, you know, when you got, um, you know, you got individuals you got women you got men who goes against the truth the true doctrine of the lord this gospel you clearly you know when you tell us we can't hate esau you a fucking fool all right and you're gonna be the same one that esau having derision all right and you're gonna be trying underfoot because you a fucking fool all right to tell us that we can't hate esau all right you don't know what this devil got planned for you. He's going to cook your ass. You know? So if you don't think that's true, then we'll see. All right? Esau is planning a sharp one against you. All right? He's a sharp instrument that's pressed against you. <laughs> you don't know. You better know. It says, they, it says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms Esau is the man that did shake kingdoms and he made the earth to tremble all right through his thermonuclear fire man you know this is why he's in charge of the world because the most high put him in charge he has the technology and the, the nuclear missiles it's not Putin East, uh, Edom it's not Putin uh, Edom it's not America, Edomites, all right? And Putin, he has um, intercontinental ballistic missiles. He has weaponry, you know, that, that, um, that he uses to threaten anyone who comes against his authority, you know, his kingdom, all right? And they are Edomites. Proving the scriptures going back to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right, so that's 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 basically it on that. Let's get back to this video clip. All right. But there's a challenge, I guess. The fourth industrial revolution has the potential to raise global income levels and improve the quality of life. Well, that would be great if you didn't change your verbiage just a few seconds later. The net displacement of workers by machines might exasperate the income gap. Don't let them fool you. They'll later declare, we told you so. It is also possible that the displacement of workers by technology will in aggregate result in a net increase in safe and rewarding jobs in what world? This will give rise to a job market increasingly segregated into low skill, low pay, and high skill, high pay segments, which in turn will lead to an increase in social tensions. They truly do say this on their website, just research it, find it, talk about it, and disclose what they're doing. And now we're gonna to get to the important part, the impact on governance, physical, digital, and biological worlds. Ultimately, the ability of government systems and public authorities to adapt will determine their survival. If they prove capable of embracing our world, I mean a world of disruptive change, 
subjecting their structures to the level of transparency and efficiency that will enable them to maintain their competitive edge. They will endure. If they cannot evolve, they will face increasing trouble. Welcome to a Klaus Schwab very traditional warning. Comply or die. That is always the statement in any of these global governance platform. So we're here, the fourth industrial revolution, but now it takes a different shape. Remember, mm. you'll own nothing. You'll have n- It says, I own nothing, have no privacy, and life has never been better. And that's the way they want you to think. They want to control you, man. Because <laughs> they got a commercial that says the same slogan, man. That's part of their thing. You will own nothing, but you will be happy. You know, why they have total power over you. You know, America is in a race with China, man. All right, China has um, a, a social credit system. You know, they have more control over their over they citizens, you know, because of the technology, the facial recognition, you know, the way everything is set up over there. And America, these Edomites, they want this place, America, to be on board with it, you know? But they got a big problem because they already painted, you know, they gave you this illusion for many years now here in America, all right, AKA Babylon the Great, to believe that you had lit, you had freedom and you had liberty, all right? So when these, you taking away these people freedom and liberty, all right, these people are gonna fight back, all right? So it's not gonna be easy and this is why their plans is to starve your ass out, you know? They fucking, they messed up the supply chain, you know? So let me um, continue real quick before, let me, I'm gonna close out because I'm actually, you know, near my destination. You know, let's finish this up real quick. Privacy, and you'll be perfectly happy about it. In this future of urban transformation. I did an entire broadcast on this. We'll put a link above the line the future of housing in which you have no privacy. Everything is just within minutes and you'll be a prisoner in an awful landscape driven by technology. Nothing will be sacred, but that is what this story is about. Nothing being sacred, not even God. United Nations, they support this initiative towards an ethical, artificial intelligent landscape. Hmm. You sure about that? Because when I show you what this is about, Clip by clip, you'll understand this. Yeah, and I want to check this video out here. The Global AI Governance Forum highlights. All right, I got to check this video out. Something far more devious. Something called the hybrid intelligence as the superior format uh, of our division intelligence in terms of uh, collaborating with people uh, and cohabiting the world with us. Cohabiting with robots, isn't it wonderful? It's just a dream come true. You know, the same robots that can go ahead and predict with the utmost accuracy a crime before you commit it. So a society driven by technology, run by AI, that will be able to predict, well, maybe if you don't comply that you're about to commit a crime and away you go. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's that total control, man. And uh, real quick, quick scripture that come to mind is the book of uh, John chapter 10 verse 10 it says um, the thief cometh not but to steal and that thief is Esau the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly I am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep but he that is in hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf coming and leave the, leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catches them and scattereth them, excuse me, and scattereth the sheep. All right, so Yahweh Shai said that the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. All right, it says, and that's Esau, man. That's what they're doing now. They want to rob you. Even now they done raped and robbed and pillaged and stole us as a people put us in slavery all right jake raised back up generations generations after generations generations after generations and now you gotta now you got what you have today through through the tribes man this is why jake's so fucked up you know that's why the lord at this moment he's given us this grace okay to repent and to come back to him because he's calling us 
And that's why also the Lord established a number, you know, an election to himself and the rest of Israel, they're going to be out of here, man. Two thirds of Israel in here in America are going to be put to death, man, because they're nothing but degenerates, man. All right. It says, Yahweh Shai said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So who the hell, you know, want to not own anything and be controlled? Who the hell is going to be happy with that type of life? See, Yahweh Shai said he would come and give us life and have it more abundantly, man. All right. Just like the way the Most High set it up. All right. For the nations to have their own land. Esau came and took us from these lands, man. Okay. He took the resources. He took these lands. Look at America. You look at how they established the way we live today. You know, every we're like sardines cans, man. You know, everybody's on top of each other. You got all this earth. And then you got Esau having his way in the suburbs or, you know, the woods, you know, you know, where the trees are at, nature's at, and he has his house and home. But Jake, they in the city, you know, on top of each other, man. Like it's no land out here. See, we looking for Yahweh to redeem us, man, to recover his remnant, which we hope to be a part of that, man. You know? So, you know, I'm gonna close out with that because. You know, I don't want to make the lesson too long. This is a long video. But uh, check the video out when you get a chance. You know? So I hope this lesson is edifying, you know, to the whole four elect. You know? Continue to put those prayers up to the Lord. You know? And pray for the kingdom, man. Pray for the brothers. Pray for the, uh, the apostles, the elders, brothers on down. You know? And pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for the kingdom. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halal La Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahawashai, Bahashim, Recha, Chodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.